This is the introduction to the reading module of the IALTS test. This video will give you a better understanding of the components and the requirements of the module. So the first thing that you need to remember before taking the IELTS is to start getting used to reading difficult passages. Some of the passages in the IELTS, both in the academic and the reading uh, types of tests, will have some difficult passages. So get used to them. Always do your practice tests. Try and practice as much as possible at home doing the reading comprehension exercises. And also plan your study time. Imp work on improving your vocabulary, on your paraphrasing skills, on developing speed in your reading and also locating information. These are also skills that we will look at specifically in later videos. And also prepare. Prepare as much as possible. Make sure that you read a lot of articles and different academic passages before your exam. This will obviously help you in, incre in help in increasing your knowledge around the various subjects that you might encounter in the IELTS. Reading practice is also essential because it will help improve your English and obviously that in turn will help change and impact your higher score, give you a higher score. So this is the overview of the reading module. So the reading module takes about 60 minutes. There are three sections. They get progressively harder and you have to answer 40 questions. There is no negative marking. So try and answer all the questions. Attempt all the questions as much as possible. The key to doing well for the reading test is managing time. It's actually humanly impossible to read every single word in the whole passage and answer the questions. It might be possible if you are somebody who is extremely fast at reading and also pretty clever. <laughs> so try not to share time equally. The IELTS reading module is increasing in difficulty. So your third section is obviously going to be the hardest. So I would recommend doing a little bit less in time, taking a little bit lesser time in section one and section two, so that you have at least 30 minutes for the last section because you will need that extra time. Be careful with the grammar that you use, especially in the beginning of sentences and the end of sentences because your sentences have to be grammatically accurate. Otherwise, you, your, answer, your answer has to be grammatically accurate as well. Otherwise, you are not going to get marks for that particular answer. So beware of your grammar, check your grammar. So like I said earlier, you will not have time to read the whole text. So, so you need to think differently about the reading comprehension in the IELTS module. Your aim is not to read the whole text. Your aim is to get all the 40 answers within the time given. Okay, so there might be part, passage, parts of the passage that you might not even need to spend a lot of time reading and analyzing because there might not be questions from that passage, from that part of the passage. Okay, so if you can't find the answer, try and mark it and once you're finished, get back to it. Take a little bit of time then to get back to it, but always remember that you have an unanswered question. Okay, don't try and spend too much time on a particular answer because you're going to miss out on answering the other questions. So write the questions in your answer sheet directly. Try not to waste time writing it first on the question paper and then transferring it onto the answer sheet. That will be a total waste of your time. Also remember, be wary of your word count. Uh, vowels in a sentence, all of that is counted as a word. So stick to the word count and the word limit. That's absolutely important. Check your spelling while writing the answers. And always stay, make time to edit right at the end. Always look to, you, the aim of the IELTS is to look to match meaning, not just words. Especially with yes, no, not given or the true or false kind of questions. You need to try and match meaning. You need to try and make the meaning of the from the passage and from your question needs to be the same. All right. Try and predict and attempt all your answers. Some of the passages might be really difficult and there might be words in the passage that might be difficult. Look at the context in which the word is being used. So even though you might not know what the word exactly means, the context might actually help you in, to understand what the word means. And if you don't know a word, just 
move on, leave it and move on because maybe you won't need that word to answer the questions. If you have a multiple choice uh, sort of a question, always attempt it because there might be a 25% chance that your answer will be correct. So never leave anything blank or empty. Always remember there's absolutely no negative marking in the test. So attempt every single question.